Hello Heights and welcome to another edition of Tiger TV. I'm Vera Howard. And I'm Devontae Doss. You know what I noticed, Devontae? There are a lot of babies around the school. What do you mean? There's babies here at Heights? Well, not exactly. Here at Heights, we have a parenting class for students who want to learn more about becoming a real parent. Here's our story reported by my co-anchor, Vera. The most amazing feeling I feel. Words can't describe a good feeling for real. Baby, I paint the sky blue. My greatest creation was you. This is parenting class here, and this is a parenting class not specifically for parenting students, um, but for students that one day might become parents, um, or students that even have little brothers and sisters. And the goal of the class is really for them to learn um, some things about child development. We talk about effective discipline techniques, um, what to use, different parenting styles. Um, we learn everything from the childbirth process, um, pregnancy, all about that. So that's really what parenting is. As a woman, the most important thing becoming a mother would be to balance the things that you want and the needs of the child. But the most important thing about being a real father is making sure that you're in your child's life. Wow, great story, Vera. But moving into sports, our boys' basketball team is on its way to a great season. I recently caught up with them at practice to see how they prepare for their games. Let's take a look. They're playing basketball. We love their basketball. Um, we're at the beginning of practice. We, we usually shoot for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, then the next 45 minutes for us is usually defensive oriented. So, so some sort of defensive drills, um, individual breakdowns, and then some full court stuff. Well, on the court, uh, we pass the ball, we run on court, call each other's names to get involved and play with team chemistry. I like when we do five on five playing because I give out buckets, we just flow well and it transfers over to the game. Great teamwork on the court. Um, communicating with your teammates, you know, encourage them to do better and, um, you know, listening to them, taking good criticism. My favorite thing about basketball practice is I like to shoot. Staying on sports for a minute, we also want to give some props to the fall season we had here at Heights. This was a successful season for all of the fall sports teams. They put in a lot of hard work and dedication, which ultimately paid off. I mean, obviously the football team had a great season, finishing 9-1 and one, you know, in the regular season, and then becoming LEL champions, going on to the playoffs, winning the first playoff game ever in school history. I mean, that was really exciting. Um, I think both of our soccer programs, both the boys and the girls, had great seasons as well. I'm very proud of how my, me and my team um, performed this season. We were over 500 with our record, and I don't know, the, the bonds and the friendships that I've created over the years with um, my soccer teammates, I'll never forget. Hey Devante, have you noticed this necklace? I actually have noticed that. Where'd you get it? Right here at Heights, in our new jewelry making class. Here's our report. It's really friendly and um, Everyone's really nice and they're supportive if you don't like, know what to do and they help you out. This is a jewelry one. Well, we started working with cardboard, learning the basic elements and principles of design and the students created three different cardboard pins. It's fun and you can like take home the things you make. They are beginning their first metal project where they will be learning how to saw and pierce metal. We use like, right now we just started using saws to like cut metal and we use like sandpaper to sand stuff. We made bracelets out of PVC clay and we made necklaces and right now we're making like metal jewelry. And you can see there's a variety of talent and there's some really great pieces that are coming out of the jewelry class. Our final story is on the Cancer Awareness Night that Legacy students hosted last month. They learned a lot, found it meaningful, and had fun doing it. We did this on our own, so we had a lot of leeway of how we wanted it to look. And we had to research it on our own, and it was like, it's our project. Like, it's better than just writing a paper, because that doesn't really, it like, 
we had fun with it. I love the project-based learning model because I no longer have to tell kids, um, why are you, they're, they're constantly asking me, why am I learning this, why am I learning this? So the answer is, you know, we're doing Cancer Awareness Night and I teach my standards through the project. I don't, I no longer have to answer um, because you're taking an OGT because I'm giving you a test at the end of the unit. You know, the end product is is authentic, it's real, and it's something that they care about. Kidney cancer is overlooked because you really don't, you only need like one of your kidneys. But it's very important that you get checked out for kidney cancer because it gets spread to other parts of your body. I am so proud. I am just overwhelmed with the quality of your work. Um, the fact that they're all here at six and seven o'clock on a, on a school night. Um, it's just really fulfilling to see the hard work and the effort that they put into this. It's really, really overwhelming for me. And that's our show for today. But remember, if you have a story to report, bring it to Mr. Glass Room 262. And you may just see it on the air. I'm Vera Howard. And I'm Devontae Doss saying so long for now from Tiger TV.